Damn, fellas, it was a tough day at the factory. Uh, Garen, you, you had to work on all those weapons, and, and Freak, you had to... Like, Freak? Oh, that's an unfortunate name. Hey, everybody, welcome back to more Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 2. I'm Slim Master, and last time, we investigated Ruwer fully, talking to everyone and everything, because there, were, there was a dog that we talked to as well. Can't forget to talk to the dog. And this time, oh yeah, we ended up last part by Elisa getting a call from one of her friends. Uh, that's, I guess, also kind of important. This time, we're gonna go and meet up with that friend at Devancy's Dinner. Well, it's open. I guess they aren't taking the day off after all. Yuna, Devance, are you in there? Oh, there you are. It's open. Come on in. Well, if you say so. Thanks. Hey there, Elisa. I see you've got your friends with you. Oh, I've missed you, Elisa. I'm so happy to see you're all right. <laughs> yeah, same here. So, what was it that you wanted to talk to me about? Oh, you know. Please, allow me to explain. I've been eagerly anticipating your arrival, Class 7. A sister? Wait, didn't we just meet you back in the cathedral? What brings you here? Wait a second. You sound a lot like... Are you... You couldn't be. <laughs> oh, but I am. Angelica? Oh, hey guys. I sure wasn't expecting you to come all the way out here after our talk. I never would have expected to find you in that getup of all things. You're the last person I picture when I think sister, so the thought never even crossed my mind. <laughs> then my disguise worked even better than I thought it would. Finally, all that crap that got drilled into my head on how to be a lady while growing up came in handy. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to put it to good use. Moving right along. What made you disguise yourself in the first place? Oh, I'll explain that while I'm bringing you up to speed on everything else. Devance, you mind bringing out some hot drinks for us? <laughs> sure thing! So that's how I ended up coming here. I should have known telling you guys not to worry would make do the exact opposite. What did you think you would do? You couldn't just ignore it. What if you were in trouble? The situation here is even worse than I thought it'd be, too. Hyrule Roger seems to have complete control of the whole company. I'm afraid so. What half the factories in town have been shut down? The ones that are still active are being used to make arms and the like the Noble Alliance. Where it is, they're using them to make more soul lots, too. People here appear to be increasingly unhappy with the nobility, too. Did you run away from home because you wanted to try and do something about what's happening here? Yeah, basically, yeah. I'm the daughter of the family that rules this province. I figured I gotta try and do something. Right now I'm in the middle of getting provincial army in the city. Two of which are Devon's and Yuna? Hmm, no one you have supporters in the provincial army as well. It's certainly encouraging. Wait, is that soldier who allowed us to come to town one of them? Yep, you got it. You must have noticed you were friends of mine. It's time to let you through. That said, I don't have all that many supporters in the army. Plus, still loyal to my father. As surprising as it may be, my father feels kinda guilty about the occupation of Heimdall. He does? Yeah, that really is a surprise. He's one of the big four, so I figured he'd be all in favor of what the Alliance is doing. I'm not a fan of the reformists, but his loyalty to his majesty is genuine. I guess he just wanted an example of how the Alliance is totally unified from within. Just before I left home, we ended up getting into a big argument. And right in the middle of it, he shouted, if you're so damn sure about it, proved to me with brute force. I'm not sure how to respond to that. Still, if he's willing to listen that way, he, it must be he has doubts about what the Alliance is doing, right? I figure. Anyway, right now he's taking over. He's taking command of the army over Schwarz Drock Barrier. You know, a few of my soldiers are waiting there for my word to act. And we've got a few armor cars and soldats available to us too. So when the time comes, I intend to give my father exactly what he wants. I'll beat my way into him. <laughs> As you can see, there's not really much you can do. It's between me and my father. It's a rising family issue. Have you care enough to come all the way here? But would you mind leaving this to me? But I'm afraid I can't do that. 
This is just a Ronin family issue. Ruin, above all else, the Reinford Company are both just as involved. Maybe you could argue it has nothing to do with my classmates, but it has everything to do with me. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. You want to settle things with your father with your own hands, and I want to rescue my mother with mine. So please, Angelica. Won't you let me help you? Oh, you're really something, Lisa. I'm sure you have plenty enough to do with it. You couldn't possibly sit idly by. Now with Ruhr as it is, and your mother being held captive, Elisa. Come all the way out here. Might as well do something. Well, sure. Besides, not only did we receive plenty of help from your mother, Elisa, but you helped us too, Angelica. You're just at the point of angering your father and getting a spell from the Academy, remember? Can't you give us a chance to pay you back for all we owe you? <sighs> Me getting pulled out of the horse wasn't your fault at all. I just wanted to rebel against father and I paid the price for it. Not that anything I say will dissuade you now that you've made your minds up. I know how you guys work. It's okay? Yep, I'd be happy to have your help. Let's sell things for the father and rescue Rita and put things back to normal. Together. Right! Through pleading words, Angelica accepted Class 7's assistance, the better settled. They then reported back to Toa on the courageous using the orbital computer in the diner. Thank goodness! I'm so glad they're able to meet up with you, Angie. Andrew, just what are you wearing? <laughs> Make for a pretty hot sister, don't I? I'm glad I got the chance to show you my perfect and oh so very beautiful disguise while I still had it on. I love my idios. Anyway, we're gonna stay and help Angelica with what she's been doing. She able to free Ruhr from the Alliance's control. Okay then, do all we can to support you from here. You know where the chairman is then. Actually, hold on. Did you say you found out where she's being held, Angelica? Oh yeah, I haven't told you that, have I? She's up with the socks and iron mine. Where specifically she's on board the Isengraf that's currently stopped in its freight station. And show you the way once we get there. The Isengraf? We last saw nowhere to Gorilla Fortress, didn't we? Yeah, so that's where Gramps' train is. She's sees by the Alliance, and then my uncle decided it was his to play with. It's pretty ritzy on the inside, and she's not being treated all that badly, but the real problem is the security. It's all being handled by Jaegers. I know what you mean. When I've heard, Director Heidel was never able to look my mother in the eye. He only wants her as far away as possible so he can rest control the company, but since he's limited in how far he can actually go, he's put her there. And what you're saying is right, once we rescue your mother, regaining control of the company shouldn't be so difficult. Yep, rescue your mother is not gonna be the hard part. Everything should be down uh, everything from there should be downhill. That means you won't need to worry about her being used as a hostage against you. Plus, you'll be able to focus on things at the Schwarz Drock barrier without needing to worry about things in Ruhr. Sounds like we're good to go. Let's just review the operation one more time. First, we go to the Socks and Iron Mine in Free Arena. Second, we rescue Ryan from Company, headquarters for my uncle, and place him under arrest. Third, we head to Schwarz Drock barrier and sell things to the father. A lot to do, and we're gonna need to be quick about it. We don't want to give the Marquis time to come to us before we can go to him. Yeah, we're gonna need to go and make sure we've got every, uh, all we need before starting. Once we start, there's no turning back. We're gonna need you two for backup, Toa, George. Count on us! We'll be waiting as close to where as possible so that we can rush in if you need us. Take care, good luck. Thanks, guys. Okay, let's get ready and head for the mine. Right. Angelica joins our party. Of course, she can use Overdrive with Reen, and she has a rather unique thing about her. Emblem has a special effect in that she can randomly, at any point in time, inflict a triple advantage. The best advantage in the game. So yeah, Angelica work, is really good go. to lead. She has to be leading the party, by the way, for this. As for Angelica herself, she is a very, very strong physical attacker, on par with Laura. Uh, although she is a little bit faster, uh, actually, well, a lot of it faster. I think she's around his speed, honestly. Angelica's really good. Um, sadly, we won't be able to use it for too long. That is something that is a bit unfortunate. She starts off, of course, with Emblem. The lower, uh, the lower our remaining HP, the more damage she does, as well as having that extra, or the less damage she takes, rather. Uh, and she also does similarly, uh, like it said before, has that uh, that effect that will allow her to get a triple advantage. Counterattacks will always do critical. That's actually it's decent, not great. Uh, action. Okay, well, she's actually at like 73 speed, so around Rean speed. Um, and then attack, of course, pretty good. Killian is pretty decent as well. Uh, basically, anytime that she attacks, she has a chance of doing so much strength and uh, lowering people's physical stats. Wrath is fine. Uh, and then her arts. Uh, 
Shining, Dark Matter, Golden Sphere, Fortuna. I need to use Fortuna a lot more. Uh, it's pretty good art. I just don't really use it too much. Uh, and we are going to give her, I guess, Vanish and Golden Sphere. Sure. Not really too much that we can give her. I guess we can give her a chance to poison, and we can give her... Well, Fort's always good to have. As for her crafts, as craft, Dragon Kick, very powerful, large area, pretty decent. Laser Bullet 2. Uh, in the line, it's very similar to Arc Slash. Uh, actually, it might be the exact same effect as Arc Slash. Uh, line, delay... NPs as well as it's also a little bit more powerful. Zero Impact is a very strong attack. It is one of the strongest single attacks in the game uh, because it is S plus class as well as being from Angelica, so it hits very hard. Dragon Boost is fantastic. I love self buffing crafts uh, like Radiant Wings and I forget what Sarah's is. Dragon Boost, 50% strength defense, very good. Um, Angelica is a very good party member, and I like how it incentivizes you to use her by having that uh, bonus effect with Emblem. <laughs> Glad you're heading out then! This tire is behind you all the way! Lady Angelica's desire to put her father back on track warms this old man's heart. Need a place to meet or somewhere to get in contact with someone else for you guys? I'm your guy. I have tried sound, buddy. Just one listen. I have no idea what this means to me, though. But the others know that our plan will proceed as agreed. Will do. Well then, off we go. Dare I ask if you intend to travel dressed like that? <laughs> Naturally. I'm as loved as Adios herself around these parts. Is this really her? Well, then it's rather sweet. Feels like the clothes more than open these days. And even when they are open, the owner's busy, so I end up having to run the place for them. Walk in that door, I'm a customer. I should be treated- I'd be nice if they actually treated me as one. Haha, <laughs> I win again! Oh, I can't believe I lost again! You're way too good at this, Tony! You yeah, stop calling me that! So, they want us to head over to the Sox and Iron Mine, we want to do the exact opposite, and head over towards the Nortia Highway. There is a reason for this, of course. Uh, that being, we'll get some AP. I wouldn't expect to see a highway with such tight security. Now that's surprising when you consider where it leads. The last thing Father wants is trouble on his doorstep. My supporters and uh, and my intended gathering point is this is on the way. But if we stop by on our way to the barrier, it sounds like a great idea to me. We might as well know where we need to be. Let's be careful. The road ahead might have a lot of eyes, but we really don't want to get caught. So yeah, uh, the Nortia Highway, technically an optional area for right now, uh, because. Uh, basically, once you do the iron, uh, once you get to the iron mine, um, you'll. It's Just, a rush on they won't even know what the, hit them. Um, Time to shine. The short shot carry, which is your soul dot fight. Um, now our chance. I'll already know up. how I'm gonna feel about that. Leave this so, to me. Then we find it actually like the only one in the entire game. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I. I have made my opinions about the next place known very, Analysis very well complete. throughout this Just entire game. Two uh, dragonfly enemies, I they're so this. annoying. Fire. It's dodge Mine's everything. It's almost like it's Just difficult watch. to hit a bug. It's my turn. Although, of course, these are very I big bugs, this. so it should be as difficult as you now can. Try this. You're so cute when you're sweaty. Ugh, can you not say things? Angelica also <sighs> is very, so very weird. Uh, she is, uh, best description <laughs> I can use is aggressively lesbian. Uh, which... I mean, sure, go ahead. There's a lot of weird lines, though. Uh, Angelica is the reason that I, in the Mass Effect series, which was the 
Shoot, shoot. Last they won't even Close know what hit him. Here I go. Uh, shoot, shoot. The reason that I, I picked Ashley to survive, I realized shortly after finishing the series that I never talked about voice actors in the Mass Effect series, but that's fine. Uh, I got it. I'll get My turn. But uh, yeah, Angelica is voiced by the same Blade voice actor that does Ashley in Mass Look it up real quick. They paid the price for underestimating us. Kimberly Brooks. I'm so glad. So yeah, uh, again, it's fine. I, I like voice actors. It's couldn't tell by the fact that I spend entire episodes in most series uh, just talking about the voice actors. It's really very difficult to tell that I enjoy voice acting. I I think I've discussed before, I eventually do want to become a voice actor. That'd be nice to have as sort of a side gig. Um, you know, maybe uh, kind of do the, the, jo the Joe Zija approach and play the game that you voice act for. Uh, we have the advantage here! Time to shine. For your feet. I can do this. I just think it'd be really cool. And Leave this to me. being involved with stuff like this just seems like it'd be Analyze really fun to do. Um, and especially with a lot of voice actors, it's really neat to see just like how varied just their um, no problem. What is the word I'm looking for? Now's our chance. Very, uh, I guess their resume. Leave this I think usually it would be like Time a to shine. Of this, technically, but here I go. You know, the, the, the works that they have well, no problem. worked on. It's very really interesting to see because there is a lot of variety in some of them. My turn. Disgusting. Here I go. <laughs> and the vanish comes back. Of course. Crit. Huh? I can do this. Uh, I want to see what Angelica's other like. I probably, I will almost certainly regret it, but because you know, there is to <laughs> as Alisa said, can you please not say things? There is uh, obviously there is the uh, every character does have a line of dialogue for when they come up to a treasure chest, and Angelica's um, her personality is quite easy to read. Probably already guessed what her line is. Uh, or the gist of what her line is. That treasure chest is absolutely beautiful. Let's just say she doesn't say that it is a treasure chest. The advantage. Here I go. I know I'm just using generic no like, uh, stuff for right now, and you know what? I'll change that up. Now's our chance. I'll back you up. Uh, next My turn. Turn ah! of Angelica's will use her. Aspect. Here I go. All right, we have the thing. Time to shine. I think we only dragged it yesterday. I'm not holding back this time. Time to wrap this up. Dragon kick. I don't remember if she uses against us in a boss fight with her in, or optional boss fight for us in Cold Steel One. Galactic Cannon! Uh, Milliam now has a new S craft. Oh, look! There's a treasure chest! Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll have plenty of them to see. We get Athlas there. Galactic Cannon! Uh, it is. Well, we saw it right there, but yeah. It is even stronger than Geigen Breaker. Um, still hits every enemy. Milliam has some. Very strong attacks. Okay, they don't even off. know yes. what hit them. So yeah, you don't even have to like Here play around and get the an opening. No, and, and wait for all that. Right. You can literally just get a triple advantage by enemies running into you. Here I go. Uh, I personally, I am not Leave someone who is to too interested in ah. speed running, but I can see how having just Angelica one. would be very helpful for speed runs. Right. 
I should really remove Here Vanish. I, go. I am not the biggest fan of Vanish. I'm not the biggest fan of Vanish. Leave this to me. And the status. We can just keep on hitting the egg serpents. Um, I, I know there's some mythology way. about all there is to serpents and eggs. Oh, I think it's Chinese mythology. Um, that sounds right, but I don't know the exactly what it is. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know exactly what the um, mythological creature is. I don't know all that stuff. We can't use the bike right now, unfortunately, for Angelica. Um, let's switch Usus into the party. We haven't really used Usus, and I guess let's switch Milium in as well. But uh, we are over the 20 minute mark, and that's something that I have failed to adhere to for the past couple episodes. <laughs> Whoops. But we'll do that this time. So. Next time, we'll continue along the Norcia Highway. But until then, see you guys later.